Before we start the video, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have a custom controller giveaway going on, so if you miss it, you can check the link in the description down below, and you will be directed to the giveaway video. The rules are simple, easy to follow, and you could possibly win a custom controller for the Xbox or the PS3, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already, but let's go ahead and start the video. Hello guys, what is up? It is Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming, and today I've got an interesting topic to talk about in this video. Today I'll be talking about the next Call of Duty game, rumored to be called Call of Duty Ghosts. So some interesting information came out today regarding the new Call of Duty game. Um, it actually leaked on a couple different websites and in an advertisement. So as you can see on the screen, I'll put a picture. You can see that the Tesco Direct website, which is a UK company, actually leaked some box art of the game. Um, it says Call of Duty Ghosts. It's the PS3, but they also have the Xbox image. So both of those will be on the screen. You can see for yourself. It has the Activision logo and the Infinity Ward logo and clearly has the rating and Call of Duty Ghosts on there. And it's for the bo for both the Xbox and the PS3. Um, the box art looks a little bit different than usual Call of Duty games, so I honestly don't think this is legitimate box art. Personally, I don't think it's legit, but we'll see. It doesn't match the patterns of previous Call of Duty games. Like, the box art just looks totally different. So, I don't think that this is personally the uh, box art, but it's worth checking out. This could possibly be the official box art for the next Call of Duty game. Also, on a European Target advertisement, um, it has Call of Duty Ghost listed for pre-order. And it says it will be released on 11... 11-5-2013. So, this actually matches up with previous release dates, being that it's on a Tuesday... And it also comes out in November, which is typical for a Call of Duty game. So I do believe that it's going to come out then. I'm not sure about the box art. Uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt because it hasn't been confirmed with Activision or Infinity Ward. So it could possibly not be true. I don't think the box art is legit just because I don't think it looks like previous Call of Duty games. But it could be, so you never know. Um, I d also, another interesting thing was um, there isn't a listing for the Xbox 720 or the PS4. This could be because... Um, those haven't been released yet, like there hasn't been an announcement date for those, or it can mean that the game is going to come out on the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, and then when the new consoles come out, it'll also come out on that. That could be the case, or it could be that um, they just haven't put the release date for the new consoles out, so they won't put it on the advertisements. But I thought this was interesting information. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the game being called Call of Duty Ghosts instead of Modern Warfare 4. Personally, in my opinion, I think it's a good move because Call of Duty 4 kind of sounds the same as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. So it, it, it sounds a lot better when they do like Call of Duty Ghosts, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this box art, the release date, and everything like that. Let me know if you think it's legit in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, this has been Cameron from Unexclusive Gaming. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya.